Stellaris was established in the late 1600s. It was first registered 1692. So our ancestral grand 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 grandfather came to the Cape with the first Dutch settlers, and uh, he actually built the Castle of Good Hope, which was the halfway stop between Europe and India on the Spice Route. And after he finished building that castle, he started to search for a place to plant vineyards, and that was Stellenrist. And through the years, it's been split up between the children and children's children, and um, now, currently, we own four family farms in Stellenbosch. And uh, yeah, all the wines that we make come from our own grapes, because we've got about 500 hectares now. The basics of winemaking is really, really important. And it comes down to one thing, stay true to the grape, stay true to the vineyard. There's no sense in you interfering with what nature gives you. I always say winemaker is a mere mediator from grape to bottom, nothing else. And once you start interfering, you start screwing it up. You can go up against, our one farm is up against the Alderberg, which is one of the mountains. Um, and you can stand up there and you look across Cape Town and you look across the ocean and you know that you're sitting in this maritime climate with winds blowing and coolness and breezes but then you can go down to another region like the Botlera Hills where most of our white grapes are planted and you've got these sandy soils which is like walking next to the beach. And there's such a difference even in four farms on each side of Stellenbosch and the difference between Shiraz from the Elderberg or Shiraz from the Botleray or Shiraz from the Devon Valley. And um, yeah, it, it, it's an amazing spot to work in as a winemaker. Father started with this project back in 2003. He was one of the first farmers who did land reform or PE or black empowerment. Um, and he empowered our workers on 100 hectares with their houses on. So for the first time they owned their houses and also some vineyards and stuff like that. And that enabled us back in 2010 to do fair trade certification. So fair trade has never been a selling scheme for us. It's not just a sticker for us. It's a true reflection of how we are trying to help our workers better their lives. A farm worker's child is not becoming a farm worker anymore like in the old days. They actually have hope and a future. And, and that's where the fair trade certification is playing a major role in our business. Probably the most unusual one, but it's quite a mouthful. It was a 80% cocoa dark chocolate crusted deep fried ice cream with chilies also in the crust and then it was rolled in salt afterwards and it was paired with a pinotage. Geeky but so so good because the chili, the spiciness from the chili, it, it's absolutely excellent with pinotage and you can chill pinotage a little bit like pinot noir so it went extremely well as a dessert wine couldn't believe. But if you taste something from Stellenbosch, you've got the opulence of the new world, but you have the finesse of the old world in one bottle or in one glass. And that's the beauty of it. It's never too rich, but never too subtle as well.